30 miles an hour zone as well. And I got to gear three for a bit for the bend. And we're turning left at the traffic light, so let's stay on the left lane. Hey guys, welcome to FM Driving School. You're with me, your fully qualified driving instructor, FM. Today we're going to do a slightly unusual driving test route. It's going to be one of the easiest test route personally, I think, for myself. So I myself will be doing the driving test, showing you how to drive. And we'll be based in Ashford. It's a nice, wide, quiet roads, um, open roads, a lot of dual carriageways. So there are still difficulties in the test routes. You have loads of dual carriageways, uh, A roads. And the side roads as well are, can be extremely narrow. But generally, it's a fairly quiet area. So we're going to show you how to drive in such um, such routes. Maybe in your area, in your locality, uh, the roads aren't as congested. Maybe they're opened up, just like the routes that we're going to show you today. So from my point of view, it feels like it was a fairly easy route. And But let me know if I made any mistakes. Correct me. Leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Subscribe for all the latest videos. We show you how to pass your driving test, how to pass your driving test first first time what the examiners look out for um, how to impress driving examiners so make sure you subscribe I can hear squeaky brakes so. um, but anyway we're going left at the traffic lights 50 miles an hour zone check our left mirror indicate left okay going on to gear 2 okay silly driver now he's going right anyway we're going left And check all your mirrors up to gear three speed up we saw 50 miles an hour so that's the speed we're going to assume on this road gear four and then gear five and a clear road so make sure you do 50. don't be afraid to do 50. if you've never done 50 with your instructor practice in the area uh, certain areas they don't have 50 miles an hour zone um, such as Isworth, but this driving test route has 50 miles an hour zone but other places have 60. Go down to Hayes and you'll see 60 miles an hour zone. Bend, just slightly release the gas slightly, just for the bend. And carry on. Okay. You can see the speed sign. It's going to get, uh, sorry, it's going down to 40 miles an hour. Let's bring it down. Let's go down to gear four. Check your mirrors. Watch out for the lights to change. a little bit and carry on you see 30 miles an hour zone as well and I got to gear three for a bit for the bend and we're turning left at the traffic light so let's stay on the left lane Interior left, let's indicate left. Break, clutch down, gonna have to get two and we're gonna go. Double check the right, and we go. Check our left wheel one more time. And into the road, up to get three. Look at the speed sign, it's about 30 miles an hour zone. Can you see it? So such a wide road, it's about 30 here, so make sure you don't break the speed limit. It's very easy to break the speed limit here. Let's go up to gear 4. Just clear the windows. Make sure you know how to operate the accessories on the car, the wipers, the demisters if need be.
Look, we can see speed signs about 40 up ahead. Let's start to speed up now. Very important you stay on the left lane so cars can overtake on the right. So one good thing about Ashford is as you can see it's quite a quiet area, really open roads, quite a few um, dual carriageways so make sure you know how to deal with the speed as well. Um, the tight roads are very narrow but it is quite a quiet area as you can see. Um, let's not also forget it's roughly about 12 o'clock so that's, that could be another reason why it's fairly quiet. We're going to be on the left lane unless we see a sign to go straight. So I can't see no signs yet. I'm gonna be here. Clutch down and brake. So maybe this road only goes left. We're gonna see as soon as he moves off. Maybe there's an arrow on the floor. We'll see. Check your mirrors just so you know who's on the right in case you need to move across to the right lane. Yeah, it's straight, it goes straight, we're fine. Come to gear two. Okay, brake and clutch. Of course, if you don't know the area, you have to assume the left goes straight. And if there is an arrow on the floor and you couldn't see it, the examiner has to help you out and tell you, okay, this lane goes left only, because those cars are blocking your path and blocking the arrow. Um, but if you can see, then he won't tell you, the examiner will not tell you, you have to figure it out yourself. So the first assumption should be left lane goes straight, which is the assumption that we made, and it was a correct assumption in the end. And that's the end of part 5. Don't forget to watch part 6, the last part, where we go through the whole mock test and analyse any mistakes that we've done. If you guys feel that I've made a mistake in any of the videos, leave a comment below. Let me know about your thoughts about the driving test. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.